Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel. Welcome to my Halloween week where I'm uploading five videos this week in a row. Exciting times, first ever time I've done it. <laughs> but if you are new and you're just now stopping by, make sure you subscribe so you get notified of those five uploads and also my future content in general. All you need to do is hit that little red button down below and the little bell button and that'll just notify you of those uploads. Today I wanted to do something a little bit more subdued, something a little bit more glam. I'm calling this pumpkin spice glam. <laughs> I've had this idea for a while and so I thought I'd do it for this week. If you like these kind of looks please leave a thumbs up so I know. I wanted to dig out a few palettes that I haven't really used recently and that is the James Charles X Morphe palette. I think I've only used this like once or twice. <laughs> so I wanted to use it again and also I used it in conjunction with my fabulous Beauty Bay Pastels palette. So we're gonna be putting these together today to create this eye look and I do also go through my skin and everything with you guys because I wanted to do like a matte base so that's what I did today. I've got literally no highlight on. But yeah I'm gonna shut up <laughs> and let's go through how I created this pumpkin spice soft glam. Okay so this is the eye look we're kind of going for. I am gonna like smoke it out and bring in the inner corner but yeah I did this a little bit differently to what I usually do my eye makeup. I'm first gonna prime my lid. I've been using the Barry M all night long concealer just because it dries down matte and it lasts a really long time and I'm just switching out my primers just to see what can work for me without buying something brand new you know. So I'm just going to cut this out using excess to just kind of carve out the brow and then also taking it just beyond my brow as well towards my temple. Then I'm just going to use my finger to blend the edges on the inner corner and just pat off any excess product on the lid. Okay, so I'm first going in with my Beauty Bay's Pastels palette. I'm taking the orange shade golden hour and I'm almost gonna create like a cut crease with this color. I know we haven't got any transitions on yet or anything like that but I was just trying something different. So I'm literally just applying this like I would a cut crease and creating that harsh line and I'm bringing it just over three quarters of the way across my lid. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the same brush and I'm just going to blend and soften the edges just to diffuse the actual shape just like that. Just softens it a little bit. And now I'm dipping into the James Charles palette. Now I just want to get a kind of a base shape going. It's almost like a little bit of a halo eye going on with the winged out shape also. So I just want to start creating that kind of illusion. So I'm going in with the warm brown from the James Charles palette called code James <laughs> and I'm just gonna start tapping on the outer corner this little kind of C shape that we've got going on I'm just placing down some color so I have an idea of where to go I'm trying to follow the shape of the eye I've already done which I already kind of haven't done <laughs> just taking the pastel shade a little bit further because I feel like it's a little bit further over this side I'm just trying to even them out you know <laughs> all right now I'm gonna go in with that code James shade and just start stamping the colour in that little C shape. Now I've done that, I'm also going to place a little bit of this colour very lightly on the inner corner. I hope you can see there's like a little bit of depth there. So I'm just going to place a little bit of this colour in the inner corner too. Okay, now I'm taking that same shade and I'm going to start creating our little winged out shape with this colour. It's going to be the transition shade, so I'm not taking it too high, I'm not taking it too low. It's kind of in the middle of where I want the wing to be. I've just basically kind of carried on the cut crease out towards the brow. Now I'm going to actually start creating that winged out shape and I'm going to go in with the shade Benny from the palette. And I'm just going to start patting on the colour and then creating that C shape again. I did clean up this part by here so I'm not too worried about it coming down or anything but I'm just going to start packing on the colour. Once I've placed the colour down, I then start using the excess to bring around the colour through the crease to start implementing that C shape. Alright, now I have that C shape going on, I'm going to start just using the tip of my brush and holding it very lightly at the end and I'm just going to start flicking out the colour to create that wing shape that we've got going on. Just like 
that. I know it looks a little bit patchy now, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in with the Benny shade and re-intensify it and make it more deep. I think the trick with this is to use very small motions and not use like too much buffing and blending, more just patting and little swirls. It just helps keep the color concentrated. Okay, now it's to start the blend. I'm gonna go in with the shade 10% off and I'm gonna go right on top of the edge of this deep shadow and just a little bit onto the actual bare skin, but mostly on the shadow because I really wanna blend and blur it out and I don't really wanna take the deeper color any higher. So I'm just making sure to keep on the shade and just really buff and blend it out. Just also brings back the warmth to the edges. I'm also going to bring this further over and blend it almost into the cut crease we created, just over halfway. Now I'm going back in with the shade code James and I'm doing exactly the same thing, just slightly higher. Okay, now I've done that, I'm gonna go back in with the Benny shade, but I'm just taking the excess that's on the brush we used, and I'm just gonna go over the black, re-intensify it just a little bit, and just make sure it's all blended. I'm just doing little upward motions and actually removing my brush from the skin where I want the blend to actually be and where I want it to fade. Okay, now I'm taking the shade No Beans and I'm going to start tapping on the inner edge of this black and I really want to continue the C shape obviously and start making a little bit of a gradient on the outer corner. And I'm just doing this by patting on the colour. I'm going to do the same with the shades 10% off and then code James and create that gradient on the outer corner with the C shape and I'm just going to continue layering them on top of each other but just bringing them slightly further in towards the middle of the lid. Then I'm just taking a little blending brush and I'm just going over that to really blend it together. I'm just going to take the original brush we used with Golden Hour and I'm just going to pat over the centre just to make sure it's all bright and just re-intensify this colour. Although it's, <laughs> it's not like it's disappeared, I just want to reinforce it. Now I'm going to take the shade Benny on a little angled brush and just create like a liner that's really tight to my lash line. I'm not making it bigger, thicker or anything, it's very thin. And then just blends into the outer shadow up here. I'm just going to go in with my initial brush we used for the Benny shade and I'm just going to blend that liner into the wing that we've got just to soften it up. Alright and the final shade we are using is the shade Tune and I'm just going to use this and fluff right over all of the edge of the shadow. It's just a very pale yellow that's just going to help just continue that warmth throughout the look and it also just finishes it. I feel it's just something missing over here if that makes sense so I like to add in this just right the way round to blend everything. As we're using such a fluffy brush and it's such a pale shade it also doesn't really add that much colour, adds a hue you know. <laughs> so this is pretty much it for the shadow. I'm just gonna take the excess concealer on this brush and I'm just gonna bring it up and clean up this edge here. To do this, I basically just line up the brush with my outer corner and then just pull it back just to match it up with the other side, you know, but just to sharpen up that outer corner. I'm quickly gonna tight line using just a brown gel liner. And then I'm gonna add some mascara. I'm using the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara by Maybelline. I'm using a little bit of the flare out technique where I pull my lashes a little bit out towards the temple just to help create that more cat eye, feline eye shape. I've got a little bit on my inner corner, but that's <laughs> neither here nor there, it's fine. I'm gonna let my lashes dry and I'm actually gonna have some dinner because I'm starving. <laughs> and then once I've done that, I'll come back, we'll do my base and then we'll finish off the eyes together. So I'll just be right back. <laughs> okay, so I'm back after like an hour. <laughs> I know my hair looks a mess and I'm also wearing a pajama top, but I'm hoping to do like a full transformation, okay? 
<laughs> so we'll sort up the hair and everything in a bit. I've already moisturized and everything like that. I really want to do like a matte base today. I might even use like a matte highlight. I don't know, I just feel like doing something different. By the way guys, do you like my earrings? They're so cute, the little maple leaves. I got them off Etsy off this little store called Me Shelfie. I don't know, this is the little bag that they came in. It's fancy writing so I can't really read it properly but they're so cute. I'll link them down below if you like them. They were really cheap as well. I think they were like a fiver. They're so cute. Even though I want a mattified base, I do just want to fill in my pores. So I'm going to use the Poreless Putty Primer. If you have the mattifying version, maybe use that one, but I don't. I just have the original. But it is well loved. <laughs> but I'm just going to place this in my more porous areas, you know. This is a little bit more hydrating but I do have an idea to kind of like mattify my skin. I might have put a little bit too much on. It's fine. And then I dug this out because I do have like a little new in crate with stuff that I've had for ages and I haven't tried. So I had a little rummage to that and found this and I couldn't believe that I hadn't tried it yet. It's the Morphe Continuous Set and Spray but the matte version. So I was thinking if I spray this all over my face, matte on my skin a little before I go on with my foundation, hopefully it'll help with the matte finish I'm going for. Ooh, Ooh. that smells so good. It smells like cucumber. Mm. Mmm, smells so good. Okay, so it looks like my camera's about to die, so I'm just gonna leave this dry, switch up my battery, and then I'll be back. <laughs> I really want one of those electric fans now. This is too much work. <laughs> okay, so that's all set down now. It has kind of mattified my skin. There's still like a little bit of sheen from my skin, but it's generally matte. So yeah, I literally rummaged through <laughs> my collection to find a matte foundation. The only one I have that's truly matte is Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution, but I don't want to keep using that throughout my videos, you know? I've used that so many times on my channel. Today I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Now this isn't necessarily a matte finish. It's more of like a natural finish, but I'm hoping with like all of my powder and everything like that, it'll come to like a nice matte finish. I don't know. Let's see what happens. So the shade I've got is Cloud. Now this is a little bit pale for me. So I'm going to go in with like a very light layer of this. I'm just going to pat it on with a sponge. So it's more of like a light layer. This does darken down like the slightest bit. So once it's on for a little bit, it'll look more like my skin tone. Tell you what, I think using that Morphe spray underneath has really helped with the finish. I just added a little bit more coverage where I felt I needed, like around here. Uh, but that's the foundation done. I've been really loving this oldie but a goodie. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm just going to add a little touch of this. I have bought this little Beach Bay angled brush to see what it's like with blending out concealer. It's the best angle brush, so... Let's give this a go. My under eyes are so finicky <laughs> with the way I apply concealer. It's really gonna be their way or no other way. <laughs> it's not quite agreeing with it, so I'll probably just have to go in with my sponge. It's just not giving the like flawless concealer that I need, so <laughs> just gonna add a little bit more and then blend it out on my sponge. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention my lashes are Doll Beauty Taylor, their Foam Ink. Um, and they're really pretty. I've like literally cut them pretty much in half. They're just like four little clusters um, But yeah, they're really pretty. That Maybelline Fit Me concealer is just so good I do just want like a little bit more brightness underneath the eyes So I'm gonna go in with the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Cloud And I'm literally just gonna add a little bit of a boop Boop. And I am just going to blend this just literally in this area here. This is just where I want the brightness. This is also an amazing concealer. I find that I have to layer it though. I have to use a color corrector underneath. It just kind of shows the blueness through. But because it's so pale, <laughs> I like to use it to brighten. Okay, so to set my under eyes, I'm going to use my usual Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I'm in super chill vibes today. I don't know why, I've just been a little bit anxious about filming recently. But today I was just like, I'm just going to chill and film and I feel so good. But yeah, I'm just going to set these under eyes real quick. I know one of you guys suggested using like a little powder brush, like a blending brush for eyeshadow for my under eyes to set. I did try that, so thank you Valentino for suggesting. My under eyes are literally just so finicky and they kind of need the powder like packing on. Not with like a dense packing brush, but this like little brush by Nabla is perfect. I don't know, it just sets 
it so well. But I'm thinking about trying that with different loose powders and seeing if I can make a little blending brush work. Thank you for the suggestion and thank you guys for all the hints and tips. And the suggestions with the eye primers as well. Is it Georgiana? Georgiana? Sorry if I'm saying your name incorrectly. I know you suggested the Milani one. I'm planning to look into that because I really want to try some more eye primers. I've got the Sigma one on my list, the Milani one on my list. I also just really want to try the MAC Paint Pot because so many people rave about that, but I'm just, I'm in an hour in about spending that price, you know? And also I don't know what shade to get because they're all a little too dark for me. So that's great. <laughs> I'm gonna now set my skin. I'm gonna try this. It's the HMB Cosmetics Soft Focuses Powder. This is by Holly Boone. She is like the queen of like soft glam, okay? So <laughs> I thought it was fitting to try her powder in this video. Now the shade range was a little bit confusing to me. She has like six shades, I think, in this powder. I got the shade Fair because the shade Translucent looked darker, very yellow, but hopefully it'll be okay for my skin. And this is just supposed to be like a soft focus powder. Let's see if this goes on light. That's what it looks like. I love the packaging. Really love this like nude soft tone. It's so pretty. It's darkening my foundation a little bit. I mean, that's not really a bad thing because this is a very pale one, but maybe a touch. It's really just kind of like blurred out my forehead. <laughs> this one is looking like a real smoother, which is great. Ooh. I'm quite liking this powder. It is so nice and it's pretty affordable, I believe. I think it was like £13.50, which isn't, you know, the cheapest, but for like a more indie kind of brand, it's pretty good, you know? Yeah, I'm definitely going to try this some more. I love the packaging on this. It is just so like luxe looking. I love it. Okay. Anyway, my skin is looking just how I envisioned and how I wanted it to. You guys, I think this is one eye look that my eyes actually look pretty even in shape because this eye comes down so much lower than this one but i think i think i've achieved the impossible right now <laughs> i think they look pretty even which is amazing so i'm gonna contour a little bit i mostly want to bronze but i want to chisel myself a little bit taking an oldie but a goodie i don't know if you can even get this anymore i really need to get like an up-to-date version of this this is the revolution ultra pro hd powder contour kit in light medium i'm gonna take this shade on the end here which it doesn't look like it but i have almost hit pan on this i can see like the impress <laughs> on the bottom of it so i'm literally taking it on the tip of the brush and i'm going to use the shape to my advantage and sculpt my cheekbones which are non-existent you know <laughs> and create milk okay i went a little bit ham so <laughs> <laughs> go in with my powder brush and just veil over it to blur it out a little okay i'm also gonna kind of contour my forehead i'm just gonna start where the eyeshadow kind of flicks out and create like another c shape and i'm gonna keep this like towards the outer part of my hairline it's just to create that pull back illusion you know i want to kind of push back this five head a little <laughs> and then i'm gonna take the excess and create a jawline <laughs> Okay, so I kind of want to create like a gradient with my bronzer. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I want to try. <laughs> I'm first of all going to go in with this Doll Beauty bronzer. This is just in the shade Light. It's a very nice tone. And I'm just going to take it on a big fluffy brush. Just start sweeping it over the contour that I've done. You want it to be soft and blended. I love using big fluffy brushes like this for bronzer. Just like effortless, you know? I feel like... <laughs> I might be hitting pan on this as well, which is nuts because I don't feel like I've used this that much. <laughs> just gonna contour my nose a little bit with the excesses on the brush. Not going too crazy, you know. Scrap that. I'm going in with a small brush because it's way too big. <laughs> just gonna chisel out my lip as well so I can get a nice voluptuous looking lips. <laughs> okay, so now before I put on blush, I kind of want to do like a little bit of a highlight moment. I want to do a matte highlight. I don't know if that's gonna be light enough so i'm gonna try this this is from the revolution contour thing again we shall see if this works because <laughs> i have a feeling it's just gonna be yeah it's the same color as my skin tone because i'm so fair matte highlights just never work out for me <laughs> i'm gonna try using the white eyeshadow from the beauty bay bright mattes palette the nine pan one and we'll see 
if I can give myself a matte highlight, shall we? I'm taking this on a more like fluffier brush so I don't get overzealous with it. <laughs> but we shall see. So I'm just gonna try giving myself a matte highlight. Kit's coming out a little bit more now. And it is kind of working. You guys can see that, right? And then once I add like blush on, hopefully it'll all blend in. I'm also gonna use a little bit of this on my nose. Just a little smidgen, you know. Ooh. That was a lot. I feel like I'm doing like a little face paint or something. I don't know why. <laughs> it just feels wrong. It's really sticking to my nose. I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of my setting powder and see if that'll calm it down. My nose is so finicky. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. Mm. Okay, now to add blush finally. I'm gonna use MAC Peaches because I think it's gonna go with this look pretty well. I'm placing it more like behind my actual cheekbone and then kind of fluffing it on top you know make that nice gradient i'm just using excess like on the ball of my cheek almost i want a little something there but i don't want too much i'm also going to blend a little bit of the excess just around kind of bronzer area as well just to bring in a little bit of that orangey tone because it's looking pretty neutral i'd say up here maybe just a little bit down the side of my nose as well it's literally barely any product on this. <laughs> okay, now we can finish up the eyes. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a Okay, little. so I finished up this eye, keeping it very simple. I'm first of all gonna do the pop of the yellow liner that I have, and I'm gonna be using this new one from Beauty Bay. I do love the packaging. It's the same packaging from the Pastels palette. It's the Crayon Eyeliner, and it's in the shade Ice Lemonade. Considering it's more of a pastel shade, it does actually have a decent pop to it, which is great. I'm just gonna add this to my waterline. On my outer corner, Corner and also the kind of inner third of my eye. I am actually bringing the color down a little bit just to make my eye look more almond and I've canceled out the rounded shape that I have. This eye is more rounded than this eye so I find I have to kind of like even them out. I've also brought it down on like a little triangle because I'm going to be extending my inner corner so I want to do that with the lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to take the shade No Beans on a small little shader brush and I'm going to tuck it right underneath that yellow liner taking it about three quarters of the way across the under eye. Then I'm taking a more fluffy brush and I'm using the shade code James and I'm just blending out that colour. I'm taking that a little bit further over into the inner corner. Now I'm just going to extend my inner corner with the shade Benny on a tiny little detail brush. I'm just going to set the inner corner yellow with the shade Tune and then I think that's it for the eyes. I wanted to keep the under eye kind of light and not too smoky. I kind of wanted the majority of the drama to be like on the top of the lid. I think that's it. It's just time to add a little bit of mascara, put on an actual lip, and then this pumpkin spice inspired <laughs> makeup is done. Okay, so as far as the lip goes, I want to also keep that matte. <laughs> Doing all matte today. So unlike me, but I really like this eye look, so I'm continuing the theme. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the Doll Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Boy Bye. Okay, and now I'm gonna mix tulips. I'm gonna take Dose of Colors in Old Flame, and then I'm gonna pat a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Naked in the center, and hopefully do like a really nice ombre lip. I don't know, I haven't tested this out yet, so we shall see how this goes. Okay, well that's those two mixed. I do actually quite like the mix together, but I wish it was like a little bit paler in the center. I'm like so tempted to add on a gloss, but I really don't wanna, I wanna keep this all matte. I have just realized I haven't put anything on my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly go do that, do my hair and sort out this rat's nest that's on the top of my head, get changed and hopefully I look half decent and there'll be a good before and after. <laughs> okay, see you guys in a sec. Is having this orange shirt on a bit overkill? Probably is, isn't it? <laughs> Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. I'm gonna call it Pumpkin Spice Glam. It's really soft, really elegant, but we've got that pop of orange. That skin, which is getting a little bit oily because I'm an oily bitch. <laughs> but I really like it, and I really like just kind of switching up the way that I actually did my eye makeup. Usually I would do like dark to light, but today I kind of just switched it up and did like <laughs> no order at all. Um, but I actually quite like it, and as I said earlier, my eyes look pretty much even, which is so unheard of for me. <laughs> I feel like I've actually done it you guys i've done it <laughs> obviously this isn't necessarily a halloween look but you could make it more halloweeny if you wanted to you could add like a black lip or you could do like pumpkin mouth 
with it. I don't know, I just wanted to do something a little bit more soft glam in amongst some more Halloween looks, I guess. <laughs> Makeup like this just makes me feel pretty. Who doesn't like feeling pretty? <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up so I know. If you're new to my channel and you're just now stopping by, I hope you decide to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload next. This week in particular, you guys are getting five videos from me, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. But yeah, that is it for me. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope to see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys. <laughs> Almost dropped my mirror. <laughs> oh my gosh. Chisel myself a little bit. I am seeing stars after just sneezing. <laughs> I'm gonna try taking the white from the beauty bit. Don't have the patience for this today. Can I please just talk? Thank you. <laughs>